touch the lion's tail? Prophet Jeremiah replies, Abel, Damina for criticizing his soup. Prophet Jeremiah Fufei, the renowned clergyman and founder of Christ's Missile and Deliverance Ministry, has sparked controversy with a pointed response to Pastor Abel Damina recent criticism. In a Facebook Live video session on Tuesday, July 9, 2024, Prophet Jeremiah addressed Pastor Demena's objection to his practice of selling anointing soup that purportedly commands favor. Quoting Matthew 7 verse 1 from the Bible, Prophet Jeremiah invoked the scripture admonition against judgment, questioning Pastor Damena's authority to criticize his ministry. We should not judge. We have only one judge, he emphasized. Assessing his stance, Prophet Jeremiah expressed dismay over what he perceived as consistent derogation of fellow clergy including notable figures like E. Adeboye, David Oedepo, and Chris Oyakilome, whom Pastor Damina allegedly disparaged without reproach. You have been insulting all men of God and be criticizing them. Are you the Messiah to come? Prophet Jeremiah questioned. In a firm warning, Prophet Jeremiah likened himself to a lion whose tail has been provoked. I shall not blame anybody now. Nigeria is a country where both the one with the hungry, both the one with the hungry, both you don't know no waiting, then they find. Then go enter inside Christianity, and Christianity seems to be giving them that advantage. They can hide under any kind of vices. This is not me calling anybody fake, but me, I know that there are fakes. Yeah, that is why. I don't know why I'm saying this all the time recently. You must have a good relationship with your God. You must have the, the, anything that you call your God, anything that you call your maker. You must have a good relationship with it because by the time you hear some things, you'll be like, ah, 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 ah. If you are truly, truly a Christian, there's something that you are not even supposed to be bothered about at all. All you need to do is to kneel down and communicate with your God. Tell your God to open your eyes for you. And you are going to be saying things and hearing things. All that's not go here, you go here. You want to do these things, God will give you a spirit of discernment. Your God will give you the spirit of discernment. Will drop things in your heart and you're going to run with it and it is going to work for you. Because to me, if they're already one, see, you get time you go reach. Many people will come outside and they work for God. And not be today now. We have been hearing people who are coming outside and are saying they are pastors and this and that. And at the end of the day, they are not any close to. P not even there for their name. They commit the worst atrocities. Yeah, so it is not new. Imagine two pastors. Imagine okay, I know I know I think I know one of them. One of them they come outside, they call out others. So me I don't even know whether that one that one are real. All I'm saying is to save yourself the stress, to save yourself the anger, to save yourself a lot of trouble this period. Hold on to anything where you they call your as in anything where you they call uh, your God. Hold on to it. It will save you a lot. Like I said, if you're a true, if you're somebody who you're close to your God, if you enter any environment, be it a church, be it a mosque, be it even a bus, something is being dropped. Before you know, your body go day, you know, it's your spirit will tell you when you come down. If you enter bus now, something will tell me, come down from this bus. I could just carry myself. Come down. If you enter somewhere now, it is sometimes we will send our conscience. Some call it instincts. Yes, somebody will call you instincts. Mind they talk to you. Who they talk to you for mind? So if you, why I'm saying this is, because if you're closer to your God, you see all these things that is flying all around. This one will say, do this one. This one, that they use people, they make money. My sister and my brother, it will, it will not be for you. Why? Because if you enter an environment, you don't already sense within the day. It's either you're at peace or you're restless. Now, this is not me saying that uh, people, where they talk now, they, I did not call anybody's name. But I'm just saying this is a critical time for you. Whether it is Christianism, you are practicing whether it is, um, what's it called? Whether you are practicing, um, uh, what's it called? Islam, whether you are practicing Buddhism, whatever it is you are practicing, make sure that 
that thing you face them squarely because <laughs> you know get as a be you you know get as a be i did tell you you know get with in as a be you lie i've been to your church i saw so many things pastor jeremiah said you are a fake I'm not asking you, but I'm telling you because I've been there for seven days for a program. Oh, you don't work out good there. The thing, like I said, you don't need to. If you are somebody who they listen to, that's your instinct, as some people will call them. That's voice of reason, some people will call them. Or oh, God speaking to them. If you sit down for environment, you will be saying, no be of God. You go, you go, you know, go, you know, go feel, you know, go want to stay there. And sometimes it might not be. Sometimes there are people who they are already, how am I going to put it? They already caution themselves to a particular kind of setting. Like for your church now, maybe in a church, if you enter, you now go they do, now go they pray, shaking their head, shaking their head, pray, 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 from the beginning of the service to the end. Maybe you don't master you. If you go, the one where we say, maybe you go, they come, they teach. They do more of teaching the word of God than more of you they pray, you they pray, you they pray. Then go pray, go they pray, go they minimal. For some time, you might not. You feel, you feel, say, no, I don't like this kind of, you know, this kind of setting. Why? Because you're used to, you're always shaking your head. You're always shaking your head and you're praying. All I'm saying is, if you're closer to your God, you get some things, life will be easier for you. You go there easier to make some decisions, you understand? Because by the time you get that ease and you don't ask your God, to have a get me, make a no make mistake. You understand? You pray to Ram. There is nothing. And you know, if you are not closer to him, there is no how you are going to get. You cannot wake up one day. Your friend you have not been calling for years. And you want to, you know, not call him and you are forming familiarity, the farms up. Like maybe you just call somebody, we say never call for the past five years. Can they ask the person, are you married? How many children do you have now? The person is not going to, the person can slam the phone, can even give you an excuse and end the call and even block you. You understand? Uh -huh. But if you get close to the person, normal, normal, you call, ah, uh ah, -uh. oh, my, you call, daddy won't call, mommy won't call, you understand? Mommy won't call, everybody. The person could answer, why? You get some person where you go even ask where the person go answer. If the person still don't want to tell you, you go, you go, you go, you go, you do one. But I'm saying, you cannot be far away. And you want this thing to be revealed to you. It's not possible. You have to be close. Now, so you use B. So if you water the relationship between you and your maker, all these kind of churches, if you enter, you discern it immediately. And you leave. And I don't mean going to church. Going to church is different from having a relationship with your maker. Let me now make it clear. Church is for the gathering of brethren, to sharpen your faith, to strengthen your faith. When you hear some things, we'll be saying, go do for people for church. You go, ah, you go encourage you. You understand? Uh -huh. But the real cocoa for this life will come. Now, how we use live our life and our relationship with her. I just say, make a tell now this one. For people, we'll be saying, then we'll start to defend now. Defender of the universe, people. All right, so on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest.